Based on the feedback we got, we are launching a new tutorial series where I want to show you how to implement a new website project using Axon Cloud. My name is Sebastian and in this first episode I'll give you an introduction to the project itself. I hope you will find the series helpful and that you learn building web experiences with Axon Cloud. Back in 2020, a fictional company asked Mark van Alst and me to create a website for them using Sitecore XP. By that time, we evaluated that SXA is a great fit to them and they save a lot of time and implementation costs due to a rich set of features that come out of the box. But let's get an overview of their requirements first. They have a multi-site and multilingual solution covering their different sales regions. They have regional marketing departments that maintain the web experiences to cover the local requirements. 60% of their clients access their website from mobile, so they need to have a strong focus on the mobile layouts and responsive designs. The Sitecore XP implementation is still running on version 10.0 and using MVC SXA. Due to the nature of the Sitecore Experience Accelerator, they have Sitecore PowerShell extensions installed as a module and they have scaled out the content delivery web service geographically to provide a better performance for the website visitors. The website structure shows a couple of pages that follow the same general layout in terms of header and footer using different components in the main content area. Taking a look at the home page, we can see a carousel, some text and teaser elements, which we will analyze in the next episode in more detail. In addition to the more simple components, there is a blog post feature with a blog overview page teasering the blog articles that can be read on a dedicated detail page. Other features to give a more detailed look are, for example, the contact form, the maps feature or the newsletter subscription form. Having the website now on Sitecore XP for about three years, they are considering to go to the next level with XM Cloud. They are targeting to reduce their hosting complexity and cost due to the nature of SaaS and the automatic scaling mechanisms. They've also heard about the new tools like Pages, Explorer or Component Builder that they would like to leverage for simplified marketing experience. Again, due to the software as a service architecture of XM Cloud, they don't have to care about updates anymore as these are provided automatically. This way, they can benefit from new Sitecore features and improvements immediately. Last but not least, they are striving for a faster web experience with great Google LiDAR scores by implementing on top of the headless architecture along with server-side generated pages. In addition to that, Axum Cloud supports multi-site and multilingual requirements for global enterprises. Components can be created very fast in no to low code way, but you can also implement your complex business demands. Your marketers benefit from what you see is what you get page and component editing. The content is delivered headlessly via the geographically distributed edge layer and your developers benefit from APIs that make integrations very easy. As mentioned before, the company currently has a multi-site implementation, meaning they run multiple independent sites from their single Sitecore XP instance to be able to have local marketing departments managing localized content. They also have a global marketing department that provides content. They manage the content centrally and share it towards the local sites. There are a couple of developer-owned artifacts or items that the development team manages centrally as well, so they keep the project low in maintenance efforts. Currently, they have dedicated sites for the marketing team and the development team. So they want to keep the benefits from managing content centrally. Now that we have a general understanding on the company's needs, let's have a look on how to move forward. A usual software project can be separated into four phases, even if you work with agile methodologies. You have the define, the design, the analyze and the implement phase. During the define phase, the client analyzes the problem that they want to solve. From here, they derive goals to achieve and KPIs to measure the success of the goals. If we're talking about a website project, the big question that needs to be answered is, why are we spending money on a website and what do you want to achieve or solve with it? You want to increase sales or grow your customer base. Now, how do you measure that? When running a web shop, measuring the sales goals is fairly easy. 
with a website that's more abstract, but you can still draw relations between your campaigns and website content to offline sales activities. Are people buying more of the products you advertise? Or are more people coming to your stores? I know these are simple examples and your dedicated business will have their own goals and their own KPIs. But knowing the goals and the KPIs helps everyone in the project build the site in the right way. In the design phase, UX designers use those goals and KPIs and turn that into an experience for your dedicated customer group. Requirements become clearer and the question, what needs to be built, is being answered. The outcome can be wireframes or content architectures. UI designers turn these into more concrete look and feels. The outcome will be UI designs or mocks to understand if the customer journey actually works or already designed systems that can be reused by the developers later on. This is the basis for creating the epics and stories that developers will implement. Together with the content that's being created, the sites will be launched so your goals can be actually achieved. In this project, the define and design phase is already done and we will use the design from the previous implementation. In the analyze phase, product owners and architects need to understand each requirement. Break it down into smaller pieces, first into epics and then into user stories or tasks that describe the requirements and the values so the developer can pick it up and work on it. But also the content and software architecture needs to be defined to match the requirements. For example, making use of page and partial designs. How will developers collaborate on the same code base? How will the code be deployed to the target systems? Last but not least, the work needs to be prioritized. What has the most value goes first. And what can be maybe a minimal viable product to be shipped to content authors so they can start the content editing in parallel to save time. We will talk about the analyze phase in the next episode in more detail. Once the requirements are clear, the implementation can start. In a so-called Sprint Zero, the team that is maybe new to XM Cloud or headless development will familiarize themselves with the new technology stack, set up the software repository, set up the XM Cloud environment and set up the serialization. Now they can start implementing the requirements one by one, page layouts, components, style everything and build integrations. Once the application is ready and the content has been added, the site can go live. The whole implementation phase is what we will go through in this tutorial series. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss further content from our Discover SiteQuiz channel. Leave a comment if you have questions or any remarks. See you next time.